back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So today I want to do a little video on how to remove fingernail uh, gel nail polish. So I, um, I'm currently wearing a gel nail polish that I got done at the salon. I don't own any uh, gel polish. So I always get mine done at the salon um, and I usually have it removed at the salon. So I've never done this at home. So this is kind of an experiment trying to figure out if I can do the same thing they do at the salon for $10. So they charge me 10 bucks for removing this. And then they charge me, I think another 30 bucks for applying a new, new gel polish. So let's give this a try and I will um, tell you everything about it. I will tell you what you need and let me start with that before I um, get started with the procedure. So everything I will talk about in this video, I will uh, list down below in the description box. I will put links down there in case you want to look it up or purchase it. I bought everything on Amazon. If you, You've probably figured out by now that I'm a big Amazon shopper, so I buy a lot of my things at Amazon. And um, yeah, I bought everything on Amazon. So the first thing you're going to need is a um, fingernail file. So you can use any, any file. Then you need a, uh, and this is probably the most important thing that you need is a fingernail polish remover and it's got to be with acetone. And the higher the acetone content, the better, the faster it goes. So I have one that's 100% pure acetone, professional remover from Pronto. I've never tried this brand before, never tried this remover before. I just ordered this from Amazon and I got it in my package yesterday. So this says it's easily removes nail polish, gel polish, artificial nails, glitter polish, nail glue. So we're gonna give this a try. Then you need some kind of cotton rounds, cotton cotton pads. I, I'm gonna use these cloths and I'm gonna actually cut these in half because they're rather large. So I need these and I forgot one thing and I'll be right back. You're also gonna need tin foil, aluminum foil that you uh, will have to cut into little rectangles. So you use these to wrap around your fingernail uh, fingernails um, to let the, um, to let the uh, nail polish remover soak in and work, do its magic, right? So the next thing you're gonna need are some of these wood sticks that have like a, a pointy tip and like a, a kind of like a flat angled tip on one side. You're gonna use that to scrape off the polish. So that's that. And you could also use a metal one, but the wooden ones are, um, much gentler on the nails than the metal ones, but I also have a metal a metal set here that would look like like this kind of like with a scraper here on this end and like a pointy thing on this end. Okay, so you could also use that, of course. Now let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna film this close up like this so you can see my nails, and I'm gonna start by. Um, Breaking, I'm going to start by breaking up my um, fingernail polish. It will uh, allow the, it will allow the um, acetone remove, um, fingernail polish remover to penetrate more easily. So you just want to make sure you create like a cracked surface, right? Just make sure you roughen it up. So it would look kind of like this. And you do this with all of your nails, okay? See, it may some of the um, gel polish may even come off, but it's not the goal of um, this, this step to file it off. You just want to create like uh, some some cracks, some you know, roughen it up. Loosen up the, the perfect um, smooth surface of the gel polish so your nail polish remover can penetrate more easily.
I'm going to do that. So I hope this works because if it doesn't, I'm definitely going to have to go to the nail salon tomorrow and have them do it for me because my nails look like crap. Okay, so this is one hand, right? Okay, so let's move on to the next. As you can see, some of my nails even broke. broke. So they're in pretty bad condition right now. And I've had this gel polish on for almost two weeks, so it's held up pretty nicely. But like I said, some of my nails, they broke, so they look really not very nice. Okay, so I, I think I can probably throw away this, na this nail file <laughs> after um, this little procedure here, but that's okay. You can buy cheap ones on Amazon. So it's not a big deal. Okay. So almost done. Oh. Let's see. Maybe this one. That's all. That's it. Okay. So the next step is that you want to take a little um, cotton round, cotton pad, cotton ball, um, cotton cloth like I have here. And I'm going to cut mine in half. And so I'm, I cut mine in half and I fold them. Then you use your fingernail polish remover with acetone. The higher percentage, the better. Okay. Then you pour some on here, on this little cotton thing that you're using. Put it on top of your nail, and then you wrap it with a piece of tin foil, just like they do at the salon, right? So the reason why you do that is so you. You can hold it in place to make sure it soaks in at the right place. So, oops, yep. Yeah. And it looks like this. You've seen all this, you've seen this before, right? So, you do this with all your fingers. I will fast forward this. Um, I will do it here on camera, but I will definitely fast forward this step because it probably will take a while for me to, to, do, to do all of them. And I think my my tinfoil pieces are way too big, so you can definitely cut them smaller. You don't have to use big pieces like I have. make sure you don't get anything on your table or wherever you're doing it because that is acetone that will eat into your furniture. Okay, so, okay, that is the first hand and now I'm gonna get to the next hand. I have to cut more of these. Oh, no, it's a little difficult to navigate, I admit, but 
There we go. You could probably get four here. One, two, three, four. Good. Good. Okay, three more to go. So this is, <laughs> the more fingers you have wrapped up in this tin foil, the, <laughs> the trickier it gets, of course. It's a little, I guess it, that would take some practice, I assume, but yeah, it's not undoable. So this is getting loose here. Okay, so two more. Okay, so this here okay. Okay. it does get a little tricky especially if you are a right hander and you're trying to do it with your left hand so okay um yeah let's see well, I may have to redo some of these later. Okay, so this just fell off because I'm obviously not super skilled. So maybe I'll do the little one first. Okay. My little finger. A little bit tricky here. How are we gonna do that? Okay, let's find out. Well, mm -hmm. okay. Just wrap it around and squeeze it tight. Uh -huh. Okay, now it's, I would say, let's Stay, let's leave it on for 15 minutes. I'm just gonna try to tighten them up one more time as much as, as good as I can. It's a, yeah. So, and then we're gonna leave this, let this work on the nail for about 15 minutes. And then I will come back and we'll see. So yes, I didn't wrap this one. I will do this one later. Okay, so I did take it off. I took off um, one side here on my thumbnail and scraped it off. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I forgot to press the record button. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna let it work. I'm gonna let it sit on my nails a little longer. And in fact, I'll just roll this here and I will just put a little bit more of the nail polish remover on here and wrap up, rewrap some of my nails that um, I feel didn't get a, a good, a good soak like on this side. Okay, so, okay, okay, yeah, 
and I will be back maybe in another five minutes just let it sit for a little longer and then I will show you how I scraped off the nail polish next time I come back okay so I've let these um, stay on my fingers I, I've had these on my fingers now for about 20 minutes I tried it after 15 minutes and worked on this thumbnail as you can see it did come off but it was a little difficult so I decided to let it sit for another five minutes so a total of 15 minutes so let's find out if we can scrape it off with one of these these wooden sticks so you want to use this this flat side here right not the not the pointy side you want to use the one with the scrapey side and we're going to take off the first the first um, wrap and now we should be able hopefully to just scrape off the polish right and I'm gonna have to put it down here on my desk yeah so as you can see it does come off however it's not um, kind of it's not what I expected so you do have to scrub back and forth and kind of really just scrub it off instead of lift it off like that they, they sometimes do it in the nail salon it also doesn't seem like it's doing a good good job here it certainly does come off right okay all right and just show you what this finger looks like So it's not super clean, but it, it did come off for the most part. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is I'm taking off all of these from my left hand first. And I may try something different. Let's see. Because it still doesn't really... I may have to let it soak a little longer and I'm gonna try a different method that they also do at the nail salon sometimes which is they pour some of this uh, fingernail polish remover in a small bowl and you put your fingernails the fingertips into that bowl and keep it there for a while so maybe we will also try that but I will you know at least try to get this off for the most part and then try that other method Okay, so this doesn't even come off for some reason here. Yeah, it's it's kind of difficult to get off, really. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Okay, so give me just a second. I'll be right back okay so I got a little glass bowl I'm gonna pour in well the problem here with this method is that you use a lot more of the fingernail polish remover than you would if you um, did the spot spot treatment on your nails with the cotton balls but I'm just gonna give it a try for now and I'm gonna 
dip in my fingernails like I hold all of these in here for another uh, three minutes okay so I'll be back in three minutes oops <laughs> okay so this is as good as I got my nails um, after soaking them off so of course this one um, wasn't in there for as long because I didn't have the wrap around it but um, they are pretty clean now um, if the nails are long of course they have the electric file um, with which they get the rest of it off I don't have one of those so I'm just gonna use a manual one and try to just um, get the rest of the color off right with um, this file now what I did find was that the metal this metal stick worked much better than a wooden one although there is a greater risk of hurting your nail because it's harder you you can it's very easy to scrape off part of your nail so you got to be very careful when when using one of those So this is my left hand and now let's go on to the right one. This one has to soak a little longer. all right my friends these are my nails I got the gel polish off but it was quite a bit of work they're not perfect 
but um, yeah, you could technically do it if you didn't have time to go to the nail salon. You can get take the gel polish off, or you can even get the artificial nails off. You just have to soak it for a really long time. And don't forget to get um, to buy a nail polish remover that has 100% acetone in it. So this concludes the video. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, we'll see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.